Welcome to Victorious Life. You know, when we think about sin, we usually think about something very dirty, um, uh, 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 something that's that's uh, it's kind of we don't really want a lot to do with it, uh, and we don't ever want to be called a sinner. Uh, we, we would like to be called, you know, no, nobody would like to be called an adulterer or a liar. Uh, we, you know, don't don't do those things. Um, we don't want uh, anything to do with that. But you know what? Um, the devil has a way of making sin even seem high class. And uh, most most sin is not dirty looking from the outside. In fact. Um, some of the most high levels of, of sinful living are done with class, with a lot of flair, uh, with a lot of money being pumped out, um, clean, uh, um, with, with it seems, seems with, with, you know, with uh, gold and with all kinds of things. Uh, the devil knows how to do high class sin. Uh, you know, some, some years ago, there was a, a, a missionary, Lester Summerall was in, in I, I think it was in Sumatra, and he was, uh, somebody had told him about a valley of death, a death valley in that area. And so he wanted to go and see this. So he uh, cl climbed up to the, to the top of this, of, of this uh, volcano, and, um, and he wanted to see this, this death valley. And um, got got he he got to the to the top of it, and um, there there was uh, you know he he had he had heard that anybody who goes down into that valley never comes up alive, and so he wanted to find out what this is all about, and um, so he got there, and basically what had happened a few years before there had been a German scientist. A, a scientist, he was gonna find out what what was what was going on down there. Why would people go and never come back? And um, and so what he did was he 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 tied himself to a rope, and uh, he had a, a one of the, one of the uh, the local guys, one of the natives at the top of the uh, of the hill, and he said, "Listen, if I start tugging on the rope, you pull me back up." Uh, so if there's any danger or whatever, then you can pull me back up. And so um, this German scientist went down into, uh, down into the crater of this, of this beautiful valley. And uh, he went down and was gone for a very long time. And uh, the, 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 the native suddenly felt like there was a couple of jerks on the rope. It seemed like something was going on. So he started pulling. Uh, but man, he had to pull really hard. So he had to drag uh, this, this scientist back up out of, the, out of this, 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 this valley. And, and, um, and as he pulled him up, uh, came as, 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 as he pulled the rope up, uh, at the end of the rope, he suddenly saw the limp, dead body of the scientist. And he thought, whoa, you know. Uh, and, and of course, the, the natives, they didn't mess with it. But uh, um, later on, scientists did studies and they found out that although this was a dormant volcano, the, the volcano was emitting gases that would kill people that had a respiratory, you know, that would breathe air. Any animal that would breathe air, it would kill it with, even before the, the person or the creature realized that it was dying, uh, it, it, uh, it would begin uh, the death process and, and people would just die like this. And the mother of this scientist said, I, I, I want my son to be buried right there on the top of that volcano uh, with an inscription of the story to warn people not to go down there. Uh, because uh, other people would probably try the same thing. And so this man's grave was there. But um, uh, uh, Lester Summerall thought, oh, man, I want to see this, this, this valley. So uh, he walked a, a little further 
past the, the stop signs uh, just to, to take to get a better peak of the valley. And so uh, he, he, he walked on and, and he uh, got, got a little further and suddenly there were the next signs, stop, don't keep going, stop right here. And, uh, but uh, as he stood there, he looked down into this valley and it was gorgeous, green, beautiful, full of life. The plant life just thrived down there. Uh, it just was a beautiful, beautiful uh, um, place, very inviting. And you know, the, the parallels are so, so similar because when you talk about the, the, the way the, day, the devil works, it, um, you know, it, most valleys of the devil are, are very beautiful. They're fascinating. They're glamorous. They're very cultured. Uh, they're, they're, you know, learned and fashionable. The, 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 the valleys of death of the devil where he lures people to come in and it's, it's, it's beautiful. It seems like something very nice. And uh, a few, uh, some years ago, I was in South Africa and, and this, this young man was telling me his story. Uh, well, at that time, he wasn't a young man anymore, but he talked about when he was a young guy, he grew up in church. Uh, he had given his life to the Lord and he was following the Lord. He was very passionate about God. And um, he began to go to this youth group and there was, uh, it was a very thriving youth group. A lot of young people, a lot of great people there. And, um, and uh, s suddenly this extremely beautiful girl began to show interest in him. And um, she was like way beyond his league. Uh, he, he, he just couldn't believe that she would be interested in him. Um, and she began to show interest and, and he began to, you know, respond to it. And, and very, very soon he was in a relationship with this girl. And uh, this girl uh, very, very slowly began to, to uh, uh, pull him away from their youth group. She began to have sexual relationships with him. She, uh, she got him to start to take drugs and he would do anything for her because he loved this girl. And when he got addicted to drugs to the point where uh, he couldn't do without drugs anymore and he was totally broken and, and uh, uh, his life was ruined. Uh, one day she, she, uh, she uh, yeah, just uh, to told him straight in his face, she said, listen, uh, I'm a Satanist and my job, my assignment was to destroy you and I've done that, so goodbye. And she left him and uh, he was just totally broken. Uh, you see, most of the, the devil's death valleys are very fascinating, very good. The devil will not tempt you with something that's not tempting. He will definitely come with something that you like. He, he has a lot of experience in this. And, uh, and the thing is, is that uh, the, the, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, Romans 3.23. Uh, the wages of sin is still death. Even high class sin, the wages is of sin is death. It doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter how cleaned up sin looks like. It still is the, the wages of the sin is death. The results of sin is death. And so be vigilant in your walk with God. And don't let a beautiful valley lure you down to the place where the gases will kill you. God has life for you. And remember to watch out and live attentive and live vigilant because your enemy, the devil, wants to destroy you. And, uh, and so God has victory for you. Live a life of victory. Don't let yourself be caught up in the things of the devil. The Lord has a plan for your life.
and live for him with all of your heart. God bless you.